Welcome to the Hunter Report. And today we're going to take a look at the Impact Qualite 300. It runs for 98 US dollars and it's a direct competitor to a product from Ari called the Ari 150, which retails for $340. I'm going to run you through the pros and the cons of this light, so let's get right into it. The number one pro is that it's under $100. Now it looks very similar to the Ari, but the differences are only surface deep. Number one, it's made of plastic. Now it's been properly thermally engineered in order to not melt. It does its job, but it is made of plastic, whereas the Ari is made out of aluminum. So I move the light up close so that you can take a better look at the focusing or power mechanism. So there's a little twist right here. When you twist it, only the light bulb moves, okay? So this is basically a parabolic setup. Now the Ari product, I believe, is a Fresnel product. Furthermore, when you twist the knob on the Ari, you're actually getting some lensing and some focusing going, so you're getting much more. And it really comes down to the debate between price versus performance. For your first light, under $100, you can get a lot of these. So for the price of one RE, you can get three of these. There's a difference right there. But if you have the budget and you want to get something more durable, that travels better and performs better, and it's not going to break your bank, you might want to go Ari. I would love to go Ari, but at the present time, it would break my bank. Let's take a look at another feature. It's got beautiful barn doors, which easily come on or off. Finally, it has a replaceable light bulb, which retails for about $24, which is more expensive than the Ari light bulbs, but it's pretty negligible as far as the total cost of ownership. Now let's get cooking with some actual lighting. Now the first thing I want you to observe is all of that light spill that comes out of there. Now it is easily fixable with a good old product here. It's a magical product. It's called aluminum foil with gaff tape. Put it around here. You can begin to cut down on your light spill. So now let's actually take a look at our beam. Here we are uh, all the way at full forward and now bring it back. Okay, and you can see that that is caused by the flaps of the barn door. If I completely open them up, that goes away. And again, full focus forward and bring it back wider. And we can tighten, tighten up the beam quite a bit. And if you want to get funky, you can even take a gel right here. See, look at that. And using gaff tape only because it's heat resistant tape it on and now look at this you can get really funky and creative so that's about it right there here's what it looks like with the gel with the super super fancy spill guard right there made of aluminum foil this is a way that you can get started really getting creative on the bigger scale basically a hundred dollars right here you get a product that does what it says it will do one year warranty and then the question is how does it compare with other products you know like the loom cube right here or just a standard old light bulb from home depot well all of the accoutrements the fact that it goes onto a light stand the fact that it has barn doors, the brightness level, everything, and it's a continuous light, offers value to me. You compare it with a Loom Cube, you can't replace the light bulb, you can't replace the battery, but it is far more portable than this. So each of these has their different use. And you compare it with a Home Depot setup here, the Home Depot doesn't really accept the barn doors, it's, it's hard to gel this up, and it's hard to mount the Home Depot light onto that. So for 100 bucks, it really is worth it for me and for probably some of you to have the impact. Obviously, I'd love to have the Ari, and I'd love to have multiple Aries, but you have to crawl before you walk. So this is a good stepping stone. That's about it. Check the description below if you wanna pick up this product. Please subscribe, please give me thumbs up, and I will see you soon.